All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Now you guys are like, what in the world, what is this angle? So I'm gonna try something different in this review and I want you guys to tell me down in the description whether you like this. We'll talk about it more in a minute. First, say hello to, the, hello to these guys, Ren and Stimpy, Powder Tisman, a log and TV, and let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Now, one of the things I struggle with in doing a review is reaching around the camera. Well, the camera's lower in this configuration, and I can reach over, around, I can do everything uh, much easier. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to try this, and you guys let me know if this is a terrible idea or if it's good. Now, you can see very well here what knife we are talking about. This is the Pena Mula. Uh, this was sent by viewer Andrew Hobbert. Andrew has sent me knives before, and this time he was crazy and sent me like some really high-end uh, knives. This is the Pena X-Series um, Mula. And I'm not sure where he got this one, but I can tell you guys that they're just not available right now. Now, there's this micarta version that you can see here, um, and there are uh, full uh, titanium ones. I know Brent from Backpack B has the full titanium ones, but I've not found any of them available right now. Um, I'm currently looking at Blade HQ. Uh, the full titanium one is like 275 I think I've seen these for like 297 um, I'm not sure, you know, again, when they'll be available. But I do know they drop them a little at a time, uh, just like Pena does everything else. Now, this is more my style of Pena, just like the X-Series Apache also is, uh, the Kickstop, um, which I will do a review on. But this particular one, because it's a thumb stud knife, it's not some crazy top flipper, front flipper thing, which isn't my jam. Uh, I actually already like this new angle because I'm holding this knife so much easier and I think the angle is better. But again, you guys let me know what you think and we might try this for a while. Um, got this great, uh, and by the way, these are made by Riot. Uh, so you got this terrific, uh, just well done everything. Rounded off edges on the inlay, um, you know, carved around uh, the screws, the screws are mostly flat and stick up where it's chamfered here just a little bit, but again, not so that it would bother you. Uh, the micarta is the typical Riot micarta where it's sort of, you can see it's taking up the oils from Andrew's fingers, my fingers, and whoever knows who else. Um, but it's not super grippy, but it does have, here you go, some good grip to it. Uh, the mic, the uh, titanium on the frame lock is not super slick either. It's pretty grippy. Got this really cool pivot collar, and I love the looks of the pivot. Uh, tooling on both sides there. You do have an over-travel stop, really cool milled titanium pocket clip, and awesome milling here on uh, the lock bar. However, there is a little bit of an issue about that, but we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, two screws on the pocket clip. Uh, that one does not move around. Very, very well done. Goes in and the, out of the pocket well. Uh, a little bit of snap coming out. Um, but again, the retention is good. You got this awesome uh, backspacer with really cool uh, milling there and a lanyard post. It is mostly open. Uh, there's no uh, chamfering out for, uh, chamfering, skeletonization for uh, weight reduction. You do have uh, some milling here to get your finger into the lock bar. No real, no real like relief on this side. You just get your your thumb down in there, but it's it's perfect. You do have a little bit of uh, well, I don't know texturing there. I, I was gonna call it uh, like scalloping or something, but it's not. It's just the little soft holes there to grab your thumb, and that works. The lockup is uh, kind of early, I would call it on this one. Let me just make sure. Yep, yep, about the same. So we're about ten to fifteen on the lockup, uh, but. Yeah, rock solid. It's not going anywhere. There's no left to right. There's no up and down. There's no blade play. There's no blade rock, uh, lock rock. There's nothing like that. On the blade itself, you got these great thumb studs. Uh, you do have a thumb ramp, really good, with uh, jimping back here and a nice little um, place to also choke up here. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. You got some swedging here and a great uh, grind there, I think. We will look in just a minute, but I believe this is a flat, yeah, high flat grind. That's sure what it looks like. I'm going to look over here real quick. Da, da, da. 
Oh, really? You're not going to tell me? You're not going to tell me? All right, well, I'll come back to it in a minute, guys. But, oh, there we go. Flat grind. Yep, I thought so. Sorry I wasn't holding it still during that. I was looking at my computer. M390 is the steel. Really nice machining on the thumb studs. And I really like these thumb studs. Pena X, X series over here. And that's really all the billboarding. So there's a little, but not a lot. Uh, again, the inlays are done really well. And everything is good. Now, as far as build... Yeah, I'd call that centered very much so. Uh, as far as action goes, guys, really great. You know I like uh, one to just jump out there now. I will tell you, uh, get used to this guy just dropping. Look at that. Uh, kind of scary. It is, a, it is a dropper, and I am a klutz. So I try very much. Yeah, you got to get it past, though. To get myself out of there, I do not want to get cut in this review. Uh, it is a dropper. Now, most of you... Uh, are much better than me, and you just, yeah, see how I controlled that with my my finger up here, but really, really cool. Just don't feel like getting cut on my review. Uh, done that before. So as far as, it is a smaller knife, but you have plenty of room. There's a little bit left over there. There's nowhere to choke up up here on the blade, but you can choke up on this flat right here. Um, really good purchase on that thumb ramp. I really like that jimping, and even back here, it, I mean, to me, this actually feels better. Um, again, when I when I when I kind of cant my grip like that, I'm pretty much all the way to the end. Um, feels good. The clip, you can't really feel the clip, but where this comes back a little bit, you know, let me see what I am feeling. Yeah, it's this right. No, it is the clip. Okay, all right. I didn't think it was the clip. I am feeling that part of the clip right there in my grip. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Um, it's not a hot spot, but it's definitely there. If the clip was sort of up a little higher, I don't think that would be a problem. Again, it's not a problem. It feels great. Uh, nice, fairly thin on the grind. And of course, you've got the swedging. Uh, looks really, really wonderful. Now, now, let's put this guy right nice and pretty right here like I had it. No box. Uh, Andrew sent it to me without the box, so we'll do that. Um so as far as overall length, it's 7.625, so it's not really that small. It's a 3.25-inch blade, so three and a quarter. That's kind of money for a lot of these manufacturers, the, a lot of these designers these days. Cutting edge is 3.125. Uh, we'll talk about it. I didn't look to see it to tell you much about the uh, sharpening toy, but it is there. It's good. Uh, 0.88 of an inch uh, for the width. Uh, blade thickness. Uh, 0.14. So that, in other words, the height of the blade is 0.188. I mean, excuse me, 0.88, and the blade thickness is 0.14. So really good. M390 drop point. Um, handle length is 4.375. The weight on this one is just over four ounces. Without that skeletonization, again, it's a little um, weighty for that ratio, but not not for me. So that it would bother me. Now, as far as that clip, um, it is only. Uh, right hand tip up, and you do have about that much sticking out of your pocket. You can see it right there. Uh, quite a bit, but again, doesn't bother me. I know it will some of you. If you're a lefty, sorry about that, very much so. Uh, let's show that sharpening choil I talked about. So very nicely done. Now, again, if one of these comes available, you're going to have to be ready to get it. Uh, they go very fast. Um, not surprising at all. They're so well made by Riot. Uh, very, very well designed by Enrique Pena. And Andrew, I am so super thankful for you sending this guy along for me to check out. I mean, uh, yeah, to get viewers sending you knives of this quality to check out is pretty insane. So thank you, Andrew, um, and uh, everybody else that has sent me ones uh, recently. I'm just kind of giving you a few little uh, shots here before I close it up. Hey guys, there's something I forgot here. Um, finished the review, but we're going to do the last part one more time. So uh, this right here, I said I would talk about it. There are five relief cuts that are almost 90 degrees right there. And when this goes in and out of, for me with cargo pants, uh, when it goes in and out of the pocket, you can actually, it catches on each one of these four humps here. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. You hear it go and then back on the way back. So it is a pocket chewer. It's partly because the clip is higher and partly because there are five of these holes and uh, they are kind of, um, what's the word? Uh, straight up and down. So yeah, it grabs as it goes through. Now, how it does on jeans, I'm not sure. I usually wear these cargo pants and that's what I wore when I had this 
knife in the pocket. Great knife, again, just something for you to know about. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of this uh, this knife uh, down in the comments and of this view here that we've got going on, if you're okay with it and what you think. And hopefully give me a thumbs up. And guys, thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.